Hi, this is JJ DiGeronimo, the president of Tech Savvy Women and Purposeful Woman. And today I have a wonderful guest, Shramada. Shramada not only is the founder of One Million by One Million, but she has also has many technical degrees, including a computer science degree for undergrad and also a master's in electrical engineering and computer science from MIT. Shramada, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. It's great to be with you. I am so excited to jump into One Million by One Million, but before we get to that, I would love to get a little bit of flavor of how you've gotten to this point in your career. Well, you know, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I started my first company while I was a graduate student at MIT, so it's been a long career in entrepreneurship, and uh, this is my fourth venture, so been through and through in the depths of entrepreneurship. And did you grow up in a family of entrepreneurs? I, my father is an entrepreneur, yes. So you saw it firsthand most of your Absolutely. life. I was 16 when I knew I was going to be an entrepreneur. And what thrills you about being an entrepreneur? You know, I'm, um, I'm very good at conceiving things and um, kind of seeing where markets go and, you know, picking up trends, spotting trends and, um, you know, morphing them to new ideas. Mm -hmm. So entrepreneurship is the perfect place for someone like me who likes to then go and actually execute on these ideas because um, it, it's not enough for me to just conceive. I also actually like to execute. Which is great, which is essentially your business is fostering other entrepreneurs to do that. But what made you decide to get a such an such an in-depth technology degree? I mean, computer science, electrical engineering, and not only did you get one degree, but you you advanced to your master's program. So, what was the inspiration around that? Well, I you know when I was going through my higher education, this is 1989 to 93 is my bachelor's time frame, and then 93 onwards is my master's time frame. I actually I was in the PhD program at MIT. Um, computer science seemed to be the, you know, exciting area. There were computers were new and starting to get more and more powerful. And then, re literally, like a, you know, in one day, the world changed when the internet came about. So I was in my office in 1994. I still distinctly remember we had, you know, I had two office mates in my office at MIT, and we were just sitting around and, and working each on each of our you know, very large sun workstations, and, and one of my roommates, uh, I mean, sorry, office mates, Ken, said, um, Shramana, have you seen Mosaic yet? And then from there on, the internet kicked out and kicked in gear, and we were all kind of in the throes of a, one of the most productive times in technology innovation in the history of mankind. So I'm so lucky to be, you know, in the right place in the right time. Oh, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. And you basically continued on from your master's at MIT to start several companies. Yep. I did three startups all through the 90s, through the first dot-com bubble, you could say. Yep. And um, in 2000, after the market crashed, I took a break. I was, a, I was very tired. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so instead of doing another startup at that point, I was actually doing an entrepreneur in residence at a top VC firm called New Enterprise Associates, NEA. Um, but I didn't have the energy at that point. So I uh, went on and, and uh, started consulting. And that one thing led to another. I consulted with over 80 companies. And then I started writing. Um, you know, I, you probably know my blog, which is now part of the 1M1M blog. And um, I also wrote a column for Forbes. Now I syndicate to probably 20 to 30 different publications including Harvard Business Review and and then you know in 2010 I started one million by one million so let's jump into that I mean wow first of all I just want to say wow before we jump in I just think you know you've manifested your own success by continuing to do and at the end I do want to talk a little bit about how you stay balanced and how you keep yourself motivated because when you are contributing at the level you are a lot of times it becomes very exhausting and you're helping so many people along so I want to be sure we touch on that but let's jump into your current company and what you're doing with entrepreneurs today so a uh, 1 million by 1 million is the only global virtual incubator in the world and our mission is to help a million entrepreneurs 
reach a million dollars and beyond in annual revenue, build a trillion dollars in global GDP, and 10 million jobs. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, our, our entire philosophy is case study-based um, education. So we've had over 600 successful entrepreneurs who've built significant businesses in technology and technology-enabled services only. That's where our focus is currently. Um, we've captured their stories and their journeys in form of case, case studies. So in a way, I've been able to get you know, almost 600 plus entrepreneurs to teach along my, alongside me, but by doing it in a format that is scalable and accessible from anywhere in the world. Every corner of the world can access it. And what type of entrepreneurs do you draw into One Million by One Million? So these are all either working in pure technology or technology-enabled services. By technology-enabled services, I mean it could be e-commerce, it could be any kind of web businesses, it could be healthcare IT, um, online education or educational technology, gaming, mobile and social apps. All these are kind of technology-enabled uh, businesses. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you look at cloud computing or big data, these are pure technology companies. All of that is part of our portfolio. We have every single variation of those I mentioned. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. And how do you feel, what do you think has been the most successful part of the program thus far? So one thing that you will, um, if you kind of dig around in our About Us on the web, you will see that we do free mentoring roundtables every week. And this has been going on for a long time. As of yesterday, we have done 188 free mentoring roundtables. And we do these over a WebEx call. And entrepreneurs from all over the world participate. Over 17,000 people have participated in in these calls. And basically, it almost runs like a reality show. Somewhere between three to seven entrepreneurs are on interactive mode pitching. And I anchored the show and I give them real-time strategy consulting and the rest of the room listens and participates in public chat. It's a very powerful program and it's been obviously very successful, otherwise you can't carry on anything for 188 sessions. Um, So we're actually planning our 200th round table uh, in short order. Um, And then we have a private version of that as part of our premium program. So the premium program for 1M1M is actually only a $1,000 annual membership fee. It's like a club membership. And we offer a whole host of services, including this very powerful video lectures and case study based curriculum, private versions of the mentoring roundtables over WebEx. We offer an immense amount of connecting of the dots. We know tons of people. <laughs> Just because of what we do and the sure. path that I have traveled, we have an incredible Rolodex. And we make that Rolodex available for our entrepreneurs. We have a lot of clout in the media. So we make that clout available for our entrepreneurs. If you look at the coverage that we generate for our premium members, it's huge. So it's, you know, that whole, everything is only the $1,000 annual membership fee. And that is part of that scalable system design. The pricing is also part of that scalable design. Because if you, if you really want millions of entrepreneurs to use it, you want to price it at a level where people can afford to use it. Mm-hmm. It can't be a $10,000, $20,000, $100,000 program. Right. That makes so much sense. And you can, you have such ease in describing it. I mean, have you come to a point in your own journey that you feel like you're at the right place at the right time right now? Well, um, it is what kind of, this project brings together my life's work so far. And I kind of want to do this for the rest of my career. It's not like there's, you know, when I was earlier in my career and I was doing startups, there was this thought process and, and we've, I kind of grew up in this industry. So, yeah. you know, I never had any other job other than running my own company. So, um, so I had this thought process, of, okay, I'll build this and I then have to exit this company and I had venture capital in it. This time I have not raised venture capital. I had had offers, but I have not taken any venture money. I'm building it with my own funds and we are profitable. So we are basically running a self-finance venture so far and I, I do not have that thought process that I have to exit this company. Mm-hmm. I want to do one million by one million. I want to help a million entrepreneurs reach million dollars and beyond in annual revenue. I don't really care about exit. Yeah, and I bet you'll do your best life work because you're so passionate about it. And I think so many women are 
lacking that passion. So to see that passion in you as you describe the company is is really just the energy. I can feel it coming through. So how do you keep yourself motivated, energized? Because what you're doing, you're constantly giving of yourself, you're motivating, you're inspiring, you're connecting, which all of those can create energies within you and among the people. But what do you do to keep balance in your life and make sure you're not working around the clock? Well, um, you know, I, I have a variety of different interests. So this, you know, one million by one million is a huge part of my life. It's a, you know, it is my life's work, as I said, but um, I have a lot of other interests. I'm very into arts and culture. I have a wonderful uh, relationship and, and my husband and I share a lot of those interests. So whether it's, you know, cooking, um, whether it's, I'm, I'm a very trained and passionate dancer. Um, we love to go to shows, whether it's dance concerts, music concerts, theater, and, and so forth. Um, you know, this is a variety of different interests that we pursue, and we have a very good network of friends in the, I've been, we've both been in Silicon Valley for a long time. Mm -hmm. So we just have a fun life, you know, and I believe that is really, important to keep yourself sure. fresh right if you're because right. entrepreneurship is really hard it is it's really it's hard immense amount, immense amount of work mm -hmm. and, and it's just the amount of stress the amount of you know uncertainty that you have to put yourself through unless you have um, some level of lightness and balance in your life it will suck you dry yeah, I've been there firsthand and I can completely agree with what you're saying. You know, you really have to think it through. You have to have a network of people around you and having this virtual incubator could be just really make the difference between entrepreneurs that make it and don't make it. Yes, and, and we provide that kind of a support group, right? Mm -hmm. It is there's enormous empathy. Yeah. In this group of people because they're all going through we, myself included, are going through the same journey. I'm also an entrepreneur. I'm not running a foundation or a nonprofit or something where I can I have the luxury of missing a beat I don't right. I am an entrepreneur just like everybody else in the program so I, when I speak I speak with a level of empathy and a level of understanding of their issues that normally they don't find in other yeah. people that makes sense so in closing there's so many women that watch these videos both women that are already in their stem careers or women that are considering uh, moving into a stem degree and then eventually a career what type of advice can you offer to them uh, to those types of women look there's a real shortage of women entrepreneurs in tech or related fields I would like you all to consider entrepreneurship as a path and there are a variety of different reasons, you know. Mm -hmm. um, often we are we're seeing a real problem. I have actually a a big article coming on this topic soon. You will see it. Um, there is a tremendous failure in the feminist movement because women in their mid thirties with significant training and significant experience are dropping out. Mm -hmm. It's been a real problem and a real defeat of the feminist movement. So um, if that's something that you are considering doing or if, that's, if that choice comes up in your life, my recommendation would be people that, you know, if you need to take off, take time off to raise children or whatever, do it, but don't quit for good. Yeah. Entrepreneurship is a very viable alternative for you to stay engaged and to, you know, really realize your potential. And if I can play a role in that and, and help you in that process, I will be delighted to do that. Oh, that's wonderful. And with all this great information and what you're providing with One Million by One, one Million, how do they get a hold of you? 1M by 1M.com. Everything is on the site. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you for having me, JJ. Always. And we look forward to sharing this with our network. Have bye a great bye. day. Take care.